These are some of the protective masks desperately sought after by governments and health systems around the world, and orders are only increasing. In a sign of growing demand, the US has been accused of modern piracy by Germany for intercepting 200,000 3M masks it had ordered and diverting them back to the US. Both 3M and the White House deny the claims, with 3M saying it doesn't even have a record of the order. But the German government website statement alludes to a new US policy it's blaming for the issue. That's because of a move by the US President Donald Trump to invoke new Korean War era laws to demand US firms provide the country with more medical supplies. We need the masks. We don't want other people getting it. That's why we're, that's why we're instituting a lot of Defense Production Act. Uh, you could call it retaliations because that's what it is. It's a retaliation. The U.S. president said earlier he's using the emergency laws to take aim at 3M, a key supplier of masks in the U.S. There's been no act of piracy. It's the opposite. 3M has not treated our country well. And if they do, great. And if they don't, they're going to have a hell of a price to pay. The company on Saturday pushed back against the new policy, saying in a statement, it had already gone above and beyond to manufacture as many masks as possible for the U.S. It went on to address heavy criticism over profiteering, saying we continue to act on reports of price gouging and unauthorized reselling. It's a row that's reverberating around the world as the N95 masks become like gold dust. 3M says it's also been asked to stop supplying Canada and Latin America, warning the decision had significant humanitarian implications. Canada is one of the countries responding to the move. And it would be a mistake to um, create blockages or uh, reduce the amount of back and forth trade of essential goods and services, including medical, medical goods uh, across our border. That is the point we're making uh, very clearly to the American administration uh, right now. As desperate health systems run short and governments start to recommend the wearing of face masks, the global struggle to access protective equipment is set to increase with nation pit against nation in the hunt for dwindling supplies. Regid Ahmed, BBC News.